Okay. Cool. Let's just, like, triple up on issues. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. How are you? Hi. Hello. Um, but yes, so I... But yeah, I... But yeah, Log Horizon was one of my favorite animes. Like, genuinely, I... I loved how they were, like, transported into, like, an MMO, and they realistically, like, a realistic MMO, because a lot of the time when they go into MMOs and shows, it doesn't actually follow MMO, like, logic, because there's, like, a bunch of stuff in MMOs. Mish, hi, hello. Um, but yeah, I was so, like, I was so into that anime that I even bought the books, because I found out that they had a full like book release where you could like a full like because it's not a manga adaption it's a book adaption and when i found out that they had a book adaption i went and bought the first five books and i cannot get myself to read them uh honestly i can't get myself to read anything where i already know how it's gonna go i can get myself to watch stuff or play something when i know what's gonna happen but reading is i guess just a little bit too much work for my brain to like be able to actually like sit down and do you know but um but hello everybody how how is everybody i uh, yeah hi sorry we've been sort of weird the last little while um but tonight i wanted to i wanted to make sure we did spooky games at night so I have a list of spooky indie games for us to go play. And also I have a Ouija board set up on my desk for us to at any point in time, we can just go ahead and. Uh, hold on. We can just go buttons. We can go ask a question to the Ouija board. Ooh. Boink. Yeah. And I thought that would be fun. Um, oh wait, I forgot to light my candle. It says that I'm supposed to do ambiance. So I need to light my Final Fantasy VII candle. Hold on. And probably turn the lights off. Thank you. I... They're not very good at all, if I'm being honest. Like, hold on. Bye. Atmosphere. All right. Uh, and. Oop. Uh, but yeah, if you actually notice, like, uh, one hand is, I uh, has, like, three nails that are black, and then the rest are green. But, uh, that is 100% because I ran out of black nail polish partway through doing like a halloween like nail thing and then i sell face reveal when i i don't i don't know i don't feel comfortable doing that so i don't know uh maybe at some point i maybe maybe some point so maybe someday adds black nail polish to sell throne i mean i have green so i mean like the rest of them are green. So, I mean, like, that's something. And they'll still look... Well, what? Um. But, yeah. No, don't worry. I would be uncomfy doing a face reveal. I'm fine doing hand reveal. And, like I said, maybe someday we'll do an immersion break like Cell does, where it's just like, hey, here is Cell in a picture. But... Nah, actually, I guess technically, I did already do a face reveal. Because there is an Iron Mouse stream where I am physically there. So, um, and a lot of people have already looked that up. But, eh. I, anyway, we're going to move on. Um, but yeah, I, but yeah, like I said, I got a bunch of spooky games and, uh, 
yeah. But uh, first, since like spooky games are not going to be that long, um, I figured we can just like that's not very spooky at all. Um, uh, that that's better. I some okay. So I have that I love kitten song on my official cell playlist now because I used it for that video, and now and for some reason every single time it goes on like live when it's not a joke it's like i just immediately get embarrassed and i'm like skip please i don't know but um but yeah i love kittens i love kittens um but yeah i i do think it's funny but but yeah no i i don't actually Now I have, like, brain. Hold on. What? But yeah, uh, happy Halloween, everybody. It is spooky time. I just realized that by doing the command for the button... Mata a Mafia! Hello! Welcome! Oh my god, I finally got a stream here! I... I did not help you do that, though, because I have, in fact, taken a couple days off streaming. Um, even though it was in my schedule that I would do that. So, it is my, my bad. But, uh... Um... But, uh, yeah, like I said, today I've got some spooky games. We've got... Uh, let me double check all of these are actually spooky games uh wait uh okay that one gave me a computer error the worst part is is that i'm dumb and i decided to fully mix in my spooky games in with i uh, in with some not spooky games that I was gathering up. So we're going to do some spooky games because it's late at night. Gage, hello. You know what? Hold on. We, we, if we have people who are worried they're going to fall asleep, then how about we start off with. Yum. Yo, these aren't Steam games that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing. I, we are going to be doing H.I.O. games. We are doing super indie games. All right. So. So if you guys have any questions you would like to ask ghosts. The ghosts that live near Sal, we can, in fact, take questions. But for I, uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of a hand cam stream. And we are going to, to have like a mix where we're going to, yep, sell hands. Hello. Um, but we are going to be doing. Oh, you can see my Final Fantasy VII candle. Wait. <laughs> I, okay. But uh, I have a Ouija board. We are, we have the first, I have, it comes with instructions. But before I we do that, let's do this part first. Um, do I have to do anything? I set the mood. I lit a candle. Um, turn the lights off. I am sitting. You need to warm the spirit up by asking simple questions. All right. Final Fantasy 7 adds to the ambiance. All right. Uh, is there a spirit here? Do I... Do I actually do... Do I actually do anything? Yeah, I actually got a Ouija board, Bongo. Hi. God, I'm scared. 
But yeah, I uh, are there any spirits here? Please let us know. I uh, is it supposed to do something? Hold on, wait. <laughs> Sometimes the spirit needs a minute or two to warm up. We not get in it today. Spirit, the one providing answers, not the planchette. Low answers have nothing to do with the planchette. Sometimes the planchette moves very quickly, sometimes it's very slowly. If getting a message out of your planchette is like waiting for dial up, don't get angry. Wait for it to be polite. Start simply. Be careful what you ask for about. Uh, okay. Uh. Hello. Is there any spirits here? I'm I'm trying. I don't. I'm not really sure how this is supposed to work, to be honest. Pride 100 left. Niche, thank you for the biddies. Thank you so much, boy. Also, that is way too small. Why did I set that to be so small? You know, I'll, I'll miss that later. Boy. All right, maybe, maybe I need to, like, warm it up. Ooh. Are there any spirits here? Or... Let us know if there are. I, I'm I'm inclined to not believe that. Because, you know, if it hadn't moved. I'm I'm kidding. I actually, I did that. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'm not sure how these are supposed to work. So, like, okay, wait. Can I, like, do I have spooky music? I... To say it works of your own. Yeah, I mean, it. Uh... Okay. Because your subconscious pulls it to where you want. Oh, I mean, that that's fair. Uh, that's kind of what I always thought. Alright, so. Spirits of the afterlife. Spirits of the underworld. Let me know. Do you wish to make contact? Ooh. Ooh. Said I don't have to do it, but I'm I'm doing this part. Spirits, come forth. Um. the board my favorite thing is these are branded by has yeah so the answer okay so spirit all right so spirit 
Why is Madame Mafia gay? That was the first question she oh, that was asked for the spirits. So, the creators of My Little Pony contact Satan. Ooh. Beer. I. R. P. H. Yeah, I'm actually like, I don't actually think these do anything. I think I might be. I think I might be too much of a skeptic person for these to work, to be honest. Even if they were ghosts, I feel like I don't have enough, like, belief in these to make this work. Nothing, nothing be happening. It says I shouldn't have to, like, do anything. Oh my god, he's so goddamn cool! Mafia, thank you for the sub! I really I like appreciate dreams. it. Yo! We got a, we have a hype train going? That's awesome! They're petty. I've been haunted three times, but I don't believe in ghosts, so. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe no nothing's answering because I'm asking for ghosts and I don't believe in ghosts. I'm more open to the idea demons are real. Maybe we could try demons. Is that is that a better idea? Is it? My brain just, like, noticed fire more when <laughs> and it's worth the sub. All right. Contact Stolas, please. If there are no ghosts here, are there any, any, uh, uh, demons or other creatures of ethereal being? Please answer. Ooh. Four. All right. Not, not sure what that means. Maybe if I just like don't look. All right. There are demon, or if there are beings of the uh of the ethereal nature anywhere nearby, please let us know your presence. Ooh. I ask the demons if they are hot. Are you are you attractive? <laughs> demons, are are you attractive? Um All right. I'm like closing my eyes to do this. Is it spelling anything? Is this actually, is this doing anything? Otos? Oh. Is that Latin for something? <laughs> like, genuinely, I am. <laughs> like, Otos? Like I said, I'm kind of just closing my eyes and moving it around and randomly stopping. I'm not really sure. I think that's just kind of... I... It's like toes. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait. Is this better? I can, like, rotate...
Yeah, yeah, that's that's way better. Okay. How many how many beings are here? That's good. Five. Uh, anyone, do you have any other questions we can try for the spirits? Damn, Cell's popular. All right, all right, all right. Um, would any of you, are any of you interested in Mafia? I'm going to assume that's probably a yes. I. It's a maybe. It's the S of yes. So. Let's go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that's because they would get a Brazilian butt wax from a priest. I think that might be too complicated of a question. Just sell play mafia? I don't know nothing about that game, to be honest. I think it's very straight. Would the wax be holy in that instant? I uh, I I don't know. Maybe? I guess would that be like Would that be like, I don't know. Are they allergic to garlic or is that just a vampire thing? Oh, apparently, please don't play me. <laughs> All right. Do do spirits have an aversion to garlic? Like. I. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. <laughs> All right. All right. And um I don't know if I'm I don't know how much longer I want to be doing this bit. I I'm not sure how much this is Are you guys believing stuff's happening? I'm kind of just like like I said, I'm kind of just messing around. Not really a, Oh, it's Sage. Fun fact. Sage messes with my lungs and it like actively hurts my lungs to breathe in. So I can't actually. So like I've actually I have my family who do the whole burning sage to ward off evil spirits stuff. But I uh, it tends to like make me feel like I can't breathe. So I'm like, no, don't do that in my house anymore. I actually genuinely like I actually genu I made that joke at the time. They're like, got to burn off space, burn sage to ward off demons and evil spirits. And I'm like, why does it feel like I can't breathe? Ah. And I'm like, and then they're like, but this this is supposed to be good. We need to get it everywhere in the house. And I'm like, it makes me feel like I'm dying. I might be the thing you're trying to ward away. Like I want, I, I I'm with you on that. I like actually, I'm not even opposed to like ghosts or the thing that we call ghosts being real. But I I genuinely don't think Ouija boards are real. <laughs> I think they're just like 
I think they're just a thing. You know what I mean? Should I should I believe in Ouija boards? Spirits, if there are any. For some reason, like, I tried to go put it to no, and then my brain was like, don't, you can't put it to no. And I don't know why. That was actually, that was actually kind of weird. Why? <laughs> why? Stat and watch and agree with ghosties before. Well. You're assholes. All right. Well, if you guys would rather, I can't. We can put the we can put Ouija board away, and I can tell you guys the actual spooky stories that I've actually lived through. That might be fun. <laughs> but oh, I did, yeah. All right, hold on. Cause yeah, I I don't actually think that's gonna be doing anything be honest i feel like i did everything that it did but that was kind of fun to mess with it was worth four dollars <laughs> yeah i i think so also i have like a scented candle here for the record one of you guys actually the the scented candle that i was using for ambiance was actually gifted to me by i think helianthus i'd have to i would have to double check but Thank you for for the for the gift of good smelling Final Fantasy VII themed scented candle. All right, hold on. I uh... all right. So if you okay, so cells ghost stories. Ready? I will tell the stories of the actual times I have gotten haunted. Yet I still do not believe in ghosts. Should have lit my Lucifer candle. We would have would have gotten the spirits going. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that'd be cool. Is it like, like Lucifer, like the being, or is it Lucifer the TV show? Also, Lucifer the TV show really should have sold like occult merchandise. That would have been funny. Oh, has been hotel. That works too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Has Been Hotel. That, that's such a good show. Um, okay. So, I do not believe in ghosts at all. But, I have been haunted three different times. Okay, ready for a spooky story? You know what? Um, okay, so, spooky story time. Finished Lucifer so fast. The TV show? It's a good show too. I really like that show. I didn't get that far though. I only watched the first season, to be honest. I and actually around the time, like soon after that, I stopped watching like shows just for the sake of watching them, and it became that you truly desire. Yeah, uh, somewhere around there is when I stopped watching shows just to watch them, and it started being a like started being like i have to actually actually watch shows like want to watch shows for me to actually get myself to watch them hold on let me let me put up my spooky my like rainstorm background again all right so sells ghost stories we will do we'll do the shortest ones first and then i'll do the long one okay so um, so the most recent time I've gotten haunted, I, I was like, this was not last year, but the year before. And I was walking home. I was walking, not even home. I was walking to work. And as I was walking, there was a weird smell in the air. And I, it, you know, there was smoke, it was smoky, and it was just an odd smell. All right. So, 
And I'm walking down this road, and it smelled like cleaning products and, like, pulled pork. But not like pulled pork, pulled pork, like burning, por like, pulled pork. Like, when you get to the bottom of, like, and you're, like, when it's, like, like cooking to, like, the bottom of, like, the container. And I, I get to the end of my street, and I look, I look to the, I look up the cross street, and I'm like, I wonder if I can see where the smoke is coming from. And I look, and, and I decided, you know, it, it's not that odd in my, like, path of walking. It was, like, on the way. So I go down that street, following the source of smoke, and at the end of that street, there was a crematorium. And it was billowing smoke out of the roof. Out of like a big chimney in the roof. And because of the wind, it was blowing all right into my little neighborhood that I lived in. And I was like, oh my god, that is horrifying. But I was like, okay, now Sal, we're not going to think about that. And we're going to go to work. So I go to work. And I do a full work day. And I. When I got home. I went to bed. And I was, I was trying to go to bed. You know how when you're like. About to fall asleep. And then like you jolt suddenly. Right. And you're like oh. Now I'm awake again. Yeah, that was happening, but every single time, there was, like, a dead lady getting closer and closer in my vision and yelling. And I kept awake, but eventually I just went to sleep. Yeah, the sense of falling a little. It was, the, the sensation was the same, except for it had a visual component. And eventually I just fell asleep, and I woke up, and it never happened again. But... That was my simplest ghost story of the time I got haunted. But yeah, no, I really liked that Lucifer show. It was really fun. I we're keep we'll keep music on for a minute. I I, I actually I feel like it's too quiet now. I'm way too OCD or not OCD. I'm way too I um. So yeah, my next story is an easy one. Um, so my hometown had this like canyon that if you drove through it after midnight, I believe it was specifically after 2 a.m., a ghost would chase you. And it was like an urban like legend test of bravery type of thing that like all the local teenagers would do. And I... Uh, when I was like 25, I went and drove through that canyon at like three in the morning just to see if it was real. And it is. But then I went and asked one of my friends. I told that story to one of my friends who is a scientist. He's actually like a scientist. And he 100% walked me through how that works. Essentially, there's like a big pipe that pumps water and a river that go through this canyon alongside the road and he was talking about how it is a type of refraction and it is actually really common and you can even program it into video games like he actually was saying that I uh, because he he wasn't just not necessarily he's not a scientist he was like uh in he but he is like a very sciencey person he is uh like but anyways, uh, he was actually one of the people who worked on my video game company with me. And he 100% explained exactly how it worked and the ways to replicate it. And told me exactly how he could replicate it in a game engine. So, the exact effect of fake ghosts. And I thought that was really cool. So, I'm pretty sure those, are, those kind of ghost sightings are fake now. Um, and then Cell's final ghost story. Of that cell has actually lived through. I watched videotapes of crossing shift at restaurants and bats, and they just like, yeah, that is a hundred percent how closing shift works. I 
I love, I love, uh, but uh, I will say though, the closing bit of restaurants work is always the worst because like you were trying, like most of the time you're like trying to like deep clean stuff while also like, like also still serving food. And there's like, and like you'll end up staying super late if you don't get some stuff done. So you're like fighting the customers basically the whole time. It's 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 not fun. Um anyways. The hash slinging slasher. So she just cusses them out. Alright. And then Sal's final ghost story. Um there was a summer when I was that I had to stay with one of my engine here. Hold on. No. I I had to stay with uh, an executive for from Vion Corp. Let's call them. All right. So I was staying with a an executive, and I uh, they gave me a room in the basement, and they had they had like. An eight bedroom house, actually. They 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 were pretty well off. They had a pretty nice house, a big house. And I stayed with them because I uh, um my uh my designers and engineers all got a smaller place too it, that I couldn't fit in and it was while I was coming home from college. Um but uh anyway. So but I uh, they casually dropped like they I but they casually mentioned a couple times that uh and they don't mention this like as like a way to scare me but they just started they've mentioned it from like the get go that uh the the cuz I was like oh what happened to the lady who lived in the basement cuz they had a family friend of theirs living in the basement whenever I've come to visit and they're like oh she finally moved out and then died he died soon after. It was actually terrible. We feel awful about that. And, uh, anyway. Uh, they were telling stories about that. Basically, as soon as she moved out, she died, like, two or three weeks later. And, uh, uh so anyways, one day, uh, while I'm sleeping in the basement, uh, I'll wake up to the sound of what sounds like someone taking the door, like a door, and like slamming it as hard as they could, is what it sounded like. And I, I, jo I jolted awake. I was like, oh no. And I, my first thought was immediately, my, one of my cousins is messing with me. So, I jump up. I run to the I run to the door. I open the door. Across the hallway in the room she used to live in is a transparent lady in a white dress. Did not recognize her, but I was also like three in the morning. Like four three, four in the morning. She looks up at me. I shut the door. I turn my light on. I sit in my chair in my bedroom for the rest of the night until the sun comes up. And that is my ghost story. Don't believe in ghosts, though. So Cell has been haunted three times. <laughs> I could have got Cell bicep curl. Wait. What do you want me to curl? Like. Like. Bah -bah. The camera's not oriented in a way that I could, like. Two guns, pa pow, ka chow. Or wait, do you want me to curl something? I all I have is the lighter from the candle. Eh, eh. <laughs> I would love to be haunted at least once. You've never just flexed. I don't, I never really did that, no. 
I I don't know. Um, uh, I mean, I guess I don't care. You know what? There was a time when I was a teenager where I would just do stuff like that in like the mirror and be all like, "Oh yeah, I'm cool." Ciao, but do. But like, I don't know. I don't think I've actually like just sat and flexed without like a purpose to it since like puberty. <laughs> Robot puberty. I'd love to be haunted at least once. I. It's it's not that interesting to be honest. I've never had die. Yeah. I mean. But yeah, doing that stuff. Or I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, no, being like being haunted, at least in my experience, is very one off and random. Uh, my, uh, ghost, my basement gore story, I'm pretty sure I got exploding head syndrome, followed by hallucinations from waking up too quickly. So, I, uh, which is a thing, apparently, I've had multiple people tell me that those are things, oh, like, I know exploding head syndrome is a thing, but, I, uh, I didn't know you could have one-offs of exploding head syndrome, and then the hallucinations from waking up too fast is a thing and you know what i considering i also had the the one coma dream thing that i had when i got put under or not put under i you know what i mean i talked about it in like like literally like the last stream i where like you have like the whole life or anyway my one dream that i had where I like it just kind of kept going a little bit and I was hearing stuff from that dream still going for like the next 10 minutes of being awake. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure stuff like that just is like that happens. I believe in that kind of hallucination. The fuck's a low exploding head syndrome? Exploding head syndrome is where you randomly hear explosions. You only but you only you, they don't actually happen. You hear them. Uh Apparently, you can, uh, like, have them one-offs. It's just a thing that happens. Yeah, I... Uh, so, apparently, you can just randomly hallucinate an explosion. Ah, uh, the human body. It's a miracle we made it this far. Yeah. I, I actually... I think one of the funniest things about exploding head syndrome is, like... How on earth did that start? What did people, what did uh, like, what did like ancient humans have that made them go, ah, explosion? What's an explosion? I don't think anything existed that exploded, that humans don't, that explodes, that humans didn't make. That I'm aware of. Like, like, <laughs> Just like cave people. Oh my god, an explosion. What's an explosion? I don't know. Loud noise. Lightning? I guess lightning makes sense. Oh wait, wait, no, no. Aren't those there those like trees in like I think they're in Southeast Asia or Australia that the way that they spread their seeds is they explode? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I have to look that up now. Exploding tree. I know that's a thing. Wait, it is a thing. Australia. Uh, exploding tree. Uh, the dynamite tree. It's in South America. Sorry. It is an evergreen tree in the family. Da, 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 da. Its fruits explode. It's also covered with immensely poisonous spikes. And. Oh, yeah, no, it's a poisonous tree where the wood itself is poisonous. The wood, the fruit, the leaves the bark, and it explodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it is a thing. 
shoots out spikes too. Oh, okay. Also, apparently it's not it's only poisonous to humans. You can feed it to other creatures. So, okay, it's not the nature. How does it work? A tree straight out of a Souls game? I I know. Like it's we have so many crazy things like that just out there in the world. I so many magnets, man. How do they work? I'll be honest, I I never listened to uh I've never listened to really uh Insane Clown Posse. My frame of reference from them is entirely uh from Homestuck. So Yeah, Homestuck. <laughs> so like all I know yeah, you know, they're uh yeah, no, they are major antagonists in Homestuck. Them and uh, Guy Fieri and Betty Crocker, the Batter Witch, and uh, uh, the cast of Ghostbusters and uh, Nicolas Cage. Well, Nicolas Cage isn't a bad guy, though. Like... Major figures in, uh, neither are the Ghostbusters, but, um, uh, my god, Homestuck. I never finished Homestuck. That is actually, weirdly enough, an actual regret I have with the internet. The funny part is, is it's technically considered a game in, for Twitch. They actually have a whole category for Homestuck if you want to read through Homestuck on Twitch. And I have genuinely thought about doing that as a thing just to get through the rest of Homestuck. But I probably won't do that. I feel like that would be a terrible stream. And also, I feel like I'd have to start over and read all of Homestuck again when I'm only missing the final update's worth. But I'm. Um, uh, the main kid is uh, obsessed with Nicolas Cage, and specifically the movie Con Air, and believes it's the best movie ever made. The main kid of the first group of kids. Uh, the Insane Clown Posse is a secret cult that worships the dark clown gods, and uh, they take over in a post-apocalyptic future, and are also the deities of uh, a religion of aliens, where being a the trolls, aliens, where they have the candy corn horns. I'm sure you've seen them around. I, they have a whole different bunch of stuff, but they're like an evil cult kind of a thing. And uh, there are also like deities in their, like one of their religions. And uh, the honking. Um, Betty Crocker is an evil alien who is taking over the, who is uh, from, who is taking over the world with baked goods. I uh, like a whole thing. Guy Fieri is uh, uh, somehow in league with the insane clown posse. There's like a whole bunch of stuff. Homestuck is nuts. Uh, it's also super gay. Like there is a lot of stuff with Homestuck that is like very gay. Uh, and in, in like kind of like a fun way, they invented their own form of shipping specifically to uh as a commentary on how people make ships in uh, other fandoms so they made like four kinds of ships each one is like based off of like a card suite so you have like the regular romantic human form of romance which is the heart which uh the aliens also have but then you also have uh, the spade romance, which is called uh, ne uh, Nemesis something. And it's essentially when you hate somebody so much that you need to sleep with them. Like, you just hate them so much. Like, you want them to die. You need to either murder them or sleep with them. And there is no other option. Because so many people make, like, hate ships. And then there's one for friends being friends, both platonically and romantically. It's like, uh, I think those are the other two. 
but I can't exactly remember. There's like a, a whole bunch of stuff. It's it's funny. It, like it it's it's entertaining. It, it is super hard to read though, because it is a lot of internet speak from like 2006, and it takes forever. It's super long. By uh, it's act like I said, it's really cool. It's got. Uh, it's got video games in it. It's a comic. It's got animation, music. Toby Fox, the creator of Undertale, started his career through it. Like, I don't know necessarily if I recommend people getting into it because it's... Fuck buying to earshot an interesting point. Yeah? Um, But yeah, like I said, uh, like... Homestuck, I don't know if I recommend it. But I do recommend looking into it enough. Like, because it did a lot of really interesting things. And I think even just like reading through like a synop like a synopsis of all the cool stuff it did and inspired is plenty, but you really need to get out of it. Because it did a bunch of cool stuff. Like it is a webcomic. That will suddenly be like, oh, next chap, next six chapters are like an RPG maker game. Here you go. That is playable in browser. <laughs> You're just like, oh, OK. And they're like, now the, the, the chapter after that is animated and then it's back to being a web comic. I don't know anything about Homestuck, but I have a crush on Vriska. Vriska is really awesome. Uh, but yeah, I only got like. Halfway through. And I never finished it. And I tried to go get back into reading it. And I was so lost. I had no idea what was going on. I, it was just, I don't know. I, I, I like, I tried to start from the beginning and I didn't realize how far into Homestuck I had gotten. Cause the beginning was like, this is like a week I got, like, this is weeks worth of reading. Steve Brisket, and I'm like, I could fix her. Doesn't she, like, she mur she murders her friends and stuff, though, doesn't she? I I don't know. Uh, is, wait, is Briska the blue? Fr yeah, the Briska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do really like Friska though. Friska's awesome. Uh, who is my favorite? A lot of my favorite characters in Homestuck die, too. Every time I got a favorite character, they died. Except for the human kids. Who my favorite human kid is Dave. But you have to love Dave. Dave is great. Dave is like... Uh, Dave is like obsessed with irony. So he's just like... I. There's all this stuff with like... Puppets and... I. There's all this stuff with like puppets and... I like sunglasses and swords and rap music and he makes ironic comment comics that are meant to not be so unfunny that they're funny. I warned you about stairs, dog. Or I warned you about stairs, bro. I warned you, dog. He actually, like, in universe, will sit down and make those comics, and that's another comic you have to read. You well, not you have to read. You can go read. Risk of risk. I see the connection. But yeah, no. Uh, Toby Fox, the creator of Undertale, made a ton of the music for Homestuck and actively worked on it. Like he was actively one of the contributors alongside Andrew Hussey to Homestuck, and that is actually part of how Undertale got its initial like funding and stuff to get made. Was fans of Homestuck. We're super excited to see Toby Fox, the one of the people who worked on Homestuck, make their own thing. Like I said, it's it's cool. Like they have a bunch of cool stuff. Even if you don't want to get into it, because it, like I said, it is a lot and it's hard and it's kind of cringe now. They're, well, they're maybe not completely cringe. That might be a bit overstating. But there's parts of it that are kind of hard to read now. Like I said, it's it's I, uh, it's got it did a lot of cool, interesting things, and I I think that die. Uh, and it like I said inspired a bunch of stuff. 
it's it's like i don't know it's cool in like that at least that kind of way hi steve Vriska, and i'm like i could fix her i i you know what i don't actually get like when it comes to fictional characters i never actually jump into uh a lot of those i can fix them characters i'm never i'm never attracted to them for some reason i always go for like the wholesome beans usually that's usually where my like attraction goes or it is like i uh, or sometimes it's uh, like the super like badassy characters but i never get attracted to like the messed up hurt people a lot of the time if that makes sense you know what i mean i'm not in the i'm not in the uh shadow the hedgehog fandom i'm more of a i'm more of a knuckles kind of gal you know or actually probably actually if we're going sonic the hedgehog because i did the shadow the hedgehog thing Actually, probably more like Rouge the Bat. Why'd I go Sonic? That's such a weird direction to take that. I thought it'd be fun at one point. I talked about this the other day to do, since they're, everyone's doing those hear me out cakes on TikTok, to just do like, to gather friends together and do like a hear me out like cake type of thing where we had to like share uh, hear me out characters and then judge each other. Or maybe not judge each other, just like react, hear me out, Nemesis from RE3. Huh. You know, he he do be big. I, I, I see. I see appeal. This sounds like it could be like a lot of fun. Yeah, I, th I think it sounds like, I think it'd be really fun too. The issue is that most, I feel like most of my friends would not be interested in that as an idea. Adam's talking about the final form? Wait. What does the final form of Nemesis look like? Wait. Nemesis final form. Oh. He's like a slug monster. Tentacles. You know what? I also get tentacle. I I, I get the tentacle appeal. I I, I get it. I mean, it's got. Hmm. Yeah, fair enough. Interesting. I don't even like. I'd have to sit and think about like, hear me outs. Look, here we go. Welcome to Taco Bell. Luton, welcome in. How are you? How was your stream? Welcome in, Raiders. I uh, hope you are all having a wonderful night. Hi. Uh, what were you streaming? How was how was your stream? Oh, that might be a bad time for that comment. But hi. Hi. Uh, you missed it. We've already uh, we already used our we a Ouija board to summon ghosts. Who didn't really want to answer much things. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway, uh, Gaius. We have guests, please. I. But yeah, let me get you a shout out, Luton. How was your stream? What were you playing? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, madam. <laughs> Amori! I've heard a lot of good stuff about that game. I heard it was, I heard it was really good. Don't worry, Raffle. You can en keep enjoying your hot dogs. Neat. I haven't gotten to the much of the messed up stuff yet. Oh well, that that's good. 
good good i like i see pictures of it a lot i see a lot of people with i know like eight amori vtubers where they're all drawn in the amori style i don't know if they're still amori but i've seen a lot of amori vtubers and i think that's really interesting Characters will be more expressive than in most games. Not a hello. I'm now feeling like maybe I shouldn't have given up on the Ouija board so soon. Hold on, I we can. Ooh, oh wait. Ooh, hello, Thomas. Hello, welcome. I. But yeah, we've. Oh my god, IRL cell. Hi. I took off my... Actually, I took off my arm things. Grippers. I got waifu cup merch. That they gave me for free at TwitchCon. But yeah, we uh, we were starting... This is uh, like an early Halloween stream. We were doing... We were summoning ghosts. Ghosties. Customizable base themed after Mori. Ah, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, uh, there is a uh frame. But yeah, we were summoned ghosties. They don't they don't really do anything. I was like, ghosts. What well, I ghosts, do you have anything to say to uh Luton and Pell? Oh, Hi. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Yeah. I don't know. I really thought like they would do more things. What polite ghosts? Howdy, Kodiak. Welcome in. I. We have been doing a lot of talking. Uh, I also have a bunch of spooky, some boring ass ghosts. I know we sat for like an hour with the Ouija board up, as trying to get them to ask any que answer any question. They wouldn't do anything. I think maybe my apartment's just too new. There's no ghosts here. Maybe, you know, actually I have a laptop. Maybe, maybe we can go somewhere else. And we can be all like, and we like, we could go find like a scary older building and try to do ghosts, summon ghosts. Yeah, oh yeah, the, the demons were flirting with my, uh, with, uh, madam though. Use a VPN to check ghosts elsewhere. <laughs> How many pineapples? You never said goodbye to them, Sal? Wait. I don't think there was a ghost here, though. <laughs> Demons are on the fence about marrying Madam, but they're leaning towards yes. Hear me out, Mac. <laughs> How many pineapples? Uh, Ouija board is better here than it is in the movies. Yeah, I, I spent $4 on that. <laughs> I mean, it could just be I got a cheap Ouija board. Like, maybe I need to spend, like, $40 on, like, a wood one. Because my little cardboard Ouija board, it, I don't... Maybe it's just not impressing ghosts. Okay, fine. I mean, if you guys... Maybe if they're upset about me not saying goodbye, they'll do something. But then again, I guess they were polite enough to say hi. Hi to the Luton people. Hmm. You're fine, madam. Or an estate. You need to get some one from a garage sale or an estate sale. Yeah, you know what? If I'm going to use a Ouija board, I'm going to need one that's had at least like two murders in the same facility as it. 
No worry, I uh, no worries, Luton. I hope you have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for bringing your audience. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a cell of a night. I just need to figure out how to fix my stream. Ended up with a 10 minute del- Ooh. Um, I wish I had a better, uh, had any sort of solution for you. Uh, have you recently changed, uh, like how your, your specs on your computer? Made a new PC and I don't have a proper, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a solid chance that most of it will be OBS stuff then. Uh, OBS stuff or maybe internet connection. But also, it doesn't actually matter because sometimes it just does stuff like that. Like, I have the fastest internet currently commercially available and I get delays sometimes. You know, so like, I, I do not think that, uh, you know, it's, it's not completely without anything. But that's awesome. I'm happy that you got a new PC. That's really cool. Uh, if you need help with anything, let me know. I'll I'll happily try. Because I have had to do that a bunch. Sometimes sort of thing. Yeah, probably. I mean, you know, your best bet probably is to just go in and select the uh, give me optimum output or whatever setting. And then modify it from there. I don't know if you've done that already. Because uh, I do that at every house, and then I adjust it based on performance. Because, you know, you get a new place, different internet speeds, different everything. Anyway. I'll, I will leave, it, leave you to it. I hope you have a good night. Um. All right. So. I've changed nothing. All right. So. Any must installs for a new PC? Um, must installs for a new PC. No worries. I uh, like I said, feel free to shoot me like a a DM or something later if you're still having trouble. I'd be happy to uh, try to run some stuff through uh, by uh, if uh, I think of anything. You too. All right, so. Um, we have a, we have a solid stack of itch.io games, of spooky itch.io games, for us to go through and play today. Because, as much as I love Alan Wake, I thought it would be nice to do, to mix it up a little bit. Although, the Alan Wake games are so good. Like, I actually am, like, fully in, uh, like, I'm so excited for tomorrow when we're back to Alan Wake. <laughs> but, um, uh, we're probably going to try to do more Alan Wake morning streams. Because, reasons. Um, but, um, anyway. Let's see, what do we start with for Halloween games? Um, I feel like I need to, when I download these in the future, I'm like, I need to go ahead and I uh, organize these better. But let's see, I'm pretty sure this one is a spooky game. All right, perfect. And there we go. All right, spooky game. Late homework. But I. Uh, yeah, we're I'm going to go with lightly spooky game. Like I said, it's supposed to be fun. Cuz you know, Halloween time. I'm actually kind of regretting turning the light back on. 
We'll keep the light spooky. I, I think I get enough light for tracking. So. Oh, no controller. Got it. It's been a minute since I've done itch.io games. But yeah. I forgotten my class assignments. They're due tomorrow morning. Uh oh, there we go. If I fail to find them and turn them in, so too will I fail the semester. An anomaly is lurking here, known to hunt the souls of disobedient students. I have no choice. In order to get them back, I must enter a world of survival horror. But yeah, I, I do think it'd be fun to do the the hear me out stream with people. Oh. Oh. It, uh, okay. Vending machine. So thirsty. I could really go for a drink right now. Then get us a drink. There is a different camera angle button. And to the student anxiety personified, I imagine. Okay, I got a card. From the school's old computers, they won't turn on. Oh god. It even controls like Resident Evil. Only I'm a kitty. Okay. It's a school map. Yeah. In, with M. That is the opposite side of the keyboard. But okay, sure. Entrance hall. Uh, M again. Oh, okay. Now I can use a keyboard. Okay. Hear me out, Lady Dimitri. That's such a... I mean, I agree. But I also feel like Lady Dimitrescu is a very, like, very, like, not really a hear me out thing, you know? It's like, yeah, everybody's into big, big lady. Big lady, big attractive. Okay. Homework. Oh. There's like a being. Oh. oh okay. Once again, madam means the final form. Ah, okay. She has a big dragon form. Bird Cthulhu. Hear me out, that creature. It's got a very pointy face. I uh, survival horror. Alright. <laughs> Megatron. Also, game has no sound. You sure? Can you really guys not hear anything? Not like a weird humming sound? Because according to this, it's capturing stuff. Capture audio. Okay, so it says it is. All right, I guess. How about now? 
guys hear stuff now? All right, that's lovely. That means we are back to, uh, we are back to uh, PC streams, only being able to uh, hear, uh, only being able to hear through uh, all capture source or whatever. That means I can no, uh, that means I, ha I have to like turn off sound alerts and stuff for, For, uh, for, uh, PC games. What am I supposed to do? The Silent Hill mixed with RE. Can you run somehow? I'm not sure. The world of survival horror. Okay, we're uh, this time before we go out into the main hallway, we're gonna. Oh, I do have a run button. Shutter has accidentally fallen. Okay, I can run. It's the opposite button of flashlight. The controls are awful though. Also, they are reversed. Secret tech unveiled. Actually running from things that want to kill me. All right, so we need to go. Yeah, okay. I think we have this then. HIO in a nutshell. Yeah, uh, forward is sometimes forward, but is also just as often backwards. Okay, monster. Oh, there's no monster this time. Oh. Still the monster? Oh, okay. Well, thank you for stealing the monster. Oh. How about here? I have needs. All right, I've, I've. Weirdly enough, this is kind of like slender. I feel like the monster gets more aggressive. It's gonna get, girl's bathroom is locked. Someone is moving in surround inside. Oh. That's good. This is also a lot like, uh, Uh, what is it? Uh, not slender. It's a lot like... Oh, there's a wheelchair. Lovely. It's that pitch, Jessica. She locked the bathroom. Where am I? Um, okay. Bad 
bathroom. Okay, we're doing pretty good, I think. Okay, not that one. Yeah, she bullies me. Oh. Oh. Okay. What sort of horrible people are making you go to a school like this? Okay, uh... Alright, uh, spooky time, spooky time. Okay, cool, the monster left even. Need to go the exact opposite direction I'm facing. This way. Got the weech. How about no? Okay, better be worth it. I'm not getting paid to go to school. I don't think that's how it works. It's just your average government-funded school. I mean, this looks a lot like like schools I've actually gone to. I. Uh, but yeah, so this has been the. All right, we'll try this one more time. This is fun. Okay. Uh. Blink. This is Hanako's late homework for anybody who is interested in playing yourself. All right. Uh. Oh, 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 Baldi's Basics. That's the game it's making me think of. like in all these basics you have all these enemies but all these basics is very like the only thing scary about all these basics is i uh, is that things are chasing you suddenly but in this it's actually like kind of scary was the correct wire. Door broken. I only just got that he was called Baldy because he's bald. That's why most people are called Baldy, I would assume. It'd be weirder if that's not why they were called Baldy. Well, that's locked because there's a thing in there. Okay, here. So we go on. Oh my god! Doesn't feel like it should have the meaning it does. All right, I think that's enough of Hanako's homework. I don't actually. The controls are just so bad. <laughs> All right, oh, we can get. Let we can move on to another one. I'm not even sure what the mystery of that's gonna be. You gather your homework. Uh, but let's see. What else do we got? Is this scary? Or is this one of the not scary ones? Oh. 
Okay. That is... I don't actually think it's going to work. This one's going to work. All right, hold on. Bald is such a weird sounding word. Doesn't feel like it should have the meaning it does. I could see that, actually. Get the Ouija board. I see ghost. Do you like... Do you actually want me to get the Ouija board again? I can. Hi. Bitch Jessica out here gossiping in the girls' bathroom. Okay, so Rashomon isn't gonna work. Okay, that game is just broken. Maybe this one? Alright, good night, Mafia. Thank you for stopping by. Uh oh. Oh, this one's VR. Wait. Okay. Uh, let's not do VR one. Um. Okay. What else? What else we got? Um. Remember places. Oh. All right. Oh, wait. It's oh, okay. Remember places. Uh, hold on. Actually, I think I'm going to. Close that and reopen it so you can see the opening because I didn't actually. Uh, shift interact E. Okay. So late, such early kids have started arriving at school. Ooh. <laughs> That's always fun. For me, it's like barely pushing 11 o'clock at night. Uh, God, it's beautiful, isn't it? I'm glad you're here. Aw, thank you. I love you. I love you too, Diamond Man. You have enough to talk longer, but it looks like you're about to have a routine power test. I wish this were real. What? Wait. Don't leave. Oh. Okay. Aha, I'm back. That was nice to get affirmations, right? Welcome back. As per usual, I'm obligated to remind you that I am your only friend. Oh. Looking for any outside result will only result in disease and sadness. Do not leave. This is truly a beautiful sight. It is. I used to gather in large columns like these. I hope you are feeling wonderfully nostalgic like you are really here. I'd love to talk more, but you are running low on coins. Where? Understand it's the only way we can keep the servers up. I also have to remind you that every coin picked up will automatically deduct two dollars from your social account. I love you. Um. Okay. Ah, paying for friendship. You know, the way it is intended. Nice job, friend. I should probably stay here for... I could probably stay here forever. 
It's like a fireworks show looking at all these lit up windows. Actually, I agree. I think, uh, like 20 bucks. No life in one place can get boring after a while, though. Hopefully I can continue to keep it interesting for you. I want you to feel like you're outside. With me. Uh, sayonara! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Sylvian Legion. I hope you have a cell of a time. Maybe it's time to leave this place. Or should we go? Let's see. We are playing itch.io games. Spooky itch.io games. Oh. A sketchy alleyway? Ooh. You know what? Me too, kind of. I'm uh, I'm working on getting new ones. I I need to get new ones. Hi. Hello. I'm once again obligated to remind you that I'm your only friend. So what do you think? Motherly, hello. There's so much. Intimate beauty in the streets you used to walk. I think the scale is a bit off, but hopefully you like it. I'm the one good. Hi. Hi, Motherly. It's very sorry, but the location change ended up charging you coins. You're gonna need more if we're gonna continue to be friends. Okay. This is a lot of money, actually. Honestly, I have 100% played games that are actually like this. But how are you doing today, Motherly? We're doing uh, spooky itch.io games. And, uh, we did, uh, we did, uh, uh, we used a Ouija board earlier. Fun stuff is going. All right. So, oh, I can just stop playing. Interesting. Seems you're only one coin short. 121 40 bucks. Only one was placed out on the other side of that fence. There's a fire wall up while you were connected to the server, but. Get yourself off from the grid. I can probably move that fence back. Maybe think outside the box a little. Okay. 120, 140 bucks. Sounds about right. Okay. Okay. It's fixed. Let's go. 125, $122. All right, what you got for me, diamond guy? You know, we make a good team. Yeah? I'm not supposed to tell you this, but my empathy is real. I do love you. Aw. I'd like to talk to you somewhere that they can't see us. Who are they? Give me a second here. Are you going to charge me for that, too? Is the horror of this bad business practices? It is us. 
Here we are. Nowhere. Ah, the void. We can be alone for as long as you like. Okay. Once you run out of coins, I'll just make some more. Um. Can I ask you something? Real horror is dating scams? Could be. Do you ever feel like escaping completely? Nothing for you out there. Why not stay with me? Oh, this is like a parasocial... You're already a, uh, uh, out of coins. Yeah, I knew it. I'll make some more. Stay with me. Alright. Yeah, this really just is just like the funny part is, is that I have I've played like games like IMVU or Second Life, and there is a whole bunch of people who actually do this kind of thing. It must be annoying to do. Fortunately it's hard corded. Corded? Hard coded. I just realized something. You've never I've never seen your face. Oh. I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm going to give it a try. If you if, if this game turned Oh. Uh, hi. You look so out there. I wish I could feel that with you. I want you to stay here for a while. I was half expecting it to turn my camera on. You're gonna need coins. A lot of them. I don't like that. So it's it's literally just one of those like I see you games, but it's all in the game. God, I hate the sound picking those up makes. Now that would be scary. Uh, that's impossible. What is? Somehow you are missing a coin again. I don't see one anywhere. I can't talk to you. Please find it. Why the eyes, please? Yeah. I've been... How do you know it's real out there? Oh, that's actually kind of getting me. I mean, think about it. You don't have a keyboard. Nothing is plugged in. Do you even know what you look like? How do you get food? Why do you have no... Where's your bed? I've made up my mind. Here must be the real world. You shouldn't leave. Keep your mind focused on reality. 
in here. Let's relax for a while. Stare at each other. Oh, hi! I knew it. You aren't going anywhere. Like I said, there's nothing out there. Don't you believe me? None of this is real. None of this is real. I'm real though. I love you. Oh, that's actually kind of giving me chills now, actually. Is there anything out here? Am I free? Jump scare imminent. Ready? Oh, it force closed the game. Okay. What'd you guys think of that? How'd you? Uh, that was remember places. What'd you guys think of that? Did you guys like that one? That one kind of gave me chills. I kind of liked that one. Yeah, there really wasn't anything out there. Apparently, they'd never lied. It was, it was cute. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. I I uh, I really like these like lo-fi lo-fi horror. So next up, we have a game called Rottenwood Lake. This is cute. Alright, another no controller game. Yar! I be sailing out to sea. These waters are so calm. It's good to know that there's absolutely no one for miles and miles around. Finally, some peace and quiet. I've been waiting for this vacation for a long time. All right. Are we going fishing? Going out on the lake? I bet I will find good fish in this spot. It's not like I'm luring them with my bait. They are calling me and inviting me here to a delightful fishing morning, and I'll gladly oblige. Have you guys ever done, like, gone fishing where you actually had to, like, wake up at, like, four in the morning? I've done that. That's never, that's never actually fun. You caught a Mongolian fish. It's called Zagas. Uh, cool. I'm surprised you made it all the way over here to America, but... Okay. Fishy, fishy fish. Had a really smelly fish. That can't be right. I've gone out on a boat to fish, though. It was pretty relaxing. Uh, okay, it wasn't like four in the morning. It was like five. You got a regular boring fish. Love to see the shiny wet scales as they are reeled out of the water. This is almost too easy. I bet I can catch better fish in the center lake. I should get further away from the shore. 
But yeah, no, I've uh, I've had to wake up at four in the mor four or five in the morning. I think this lake is cursed, but it looks lovely today. And they're just scared by a little morning fog. I like the fog. I feel like the lake is hugging me inside it. I don't know why nobody wants to come to Lake Rottenwood. It's so calm and enjoyable. Oh, a hundred percent. He is way too cavalier about things. You got a disturbing fish. Its dead eyes look at you in the, into your soul. Okay. Got a nice looking fish. It must taste amazing. Nice looking fish. It must taste amazing. Alright. Um, I wish I was fishing. Wee woo, wee woo. Catch a fish, catch a fish. I think there's only one kind of fish here. How much fish is he trying to get? Boring fish. All right. Got an impressive fish. Really shiny. Ooh. I think they're just letting the fish go after catching him. That's dumb. Like, eat the fish. It's called a Zaga. Okay, I think we've caught enough fish. And nothing of important ha importance happened. Oh, I guess... No? Alright, fine. To the center of the lake. It's good to know that there's absolutely no one for miles and miles around. Find some peace of quiet. Oh, just start it over? Alright, let's just see what happens. See if we can go all the way across the lake. This is the spot, so we can right, right below. My guts and skin? Alright. Really smelly fish? That can't be right. I just noticed this is a giant dark spot in the water. A lot of Lake Del Lago from RE4. I haven't played RE4. I've only played the first R Resident Evil and the fifth and the sixth. Part of the pleasure of fishing. You have to stay very silent and still, but you can be alone with your thoughts. Very special state of mind. I can even lose track of time. I like this. As long as it's been seconds, minutes, even more. It's almost as if I'm not in the lake anymore. Holding the rod, but I'm also very far away. I only feel a strong weight in my chest. Am I daydreaming? I never close my eyes, I'm sure, but it seems as if things are slowly changing around me without me noticing. How much time has passed? Have I drifted away? I feel like something very bad is about to happen. Alright, well. The shore. is right here. This is how you stay safe in a horror movie. Locals only. The Rotten Church, I can't believe my eyes. I never thought all the stories were true, and yet here I am. Fishermen tell stories. It is known that there used to be a small village by the river here. 
in Rottenwood Lake since today, but one stormy night, the water level started going up and didn't stop until the whole valley was underwater and no one survived. So, is the issue that all my fish probably ate human corpses or something? Stay out. It's a fine punishment for the wicked acts of the villagers. Others say that they worship the river, offering peculiar sacrifices. In return for bountiful fishing seasons, the souls of all the damned lurked in every corner. The only way to escape this cursed space is to gather three heads under the roof of the preacher Johansson. Three heads and bring them back. Oh, okay. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, Alright, time to go look for heads. I guess I can keep fishing. Also, why would I, like, go further in here? Nothing here. Interesting. Obviously some... I mean... You don't know how long those signs have been up. Interesting. Wee woo, wee woo. Come hither and tithers yon fish. What is happening? Right there. I hear Aztec singing, or not Aztec, Mongolian singing. All right. Come on. Fishy, fishy, fishy. You got the right eyed head. All right. Just decapitated head. Lovely. All right. Hey. Uh... Oh, Hi. Yeah. What are you? All right. Cool. This feels very Ari-esque with these weird keys. Could be. I really want to play more Ari, uh, Resident Evil. I only played the first one. Like a wood dragon lake monster. Yeah, it looked like some sort of like lake guardian type of... I heard Dongolian throat singing. You know what that means. That's a weird line to get out of context. All right. Come on. Left eyed head. They're looking at me. If I told you I have no idea how to get back, I'm sure that would be very believable at this point. Maybe I should start heading back that direction. Everyone knows that when you hear Mongolian throat singing that there's treasure nearby. Right? Of 
course. Common knowledge. All right, come on, vast ye lake demon. Ye cursed white whale. I'll catch you. I'll bring you in for market. Don't underestimate a fisherman. I'd, I'd take, come here, La Nessie. Literally, fishermen's jobs are to take the eldritch horrors from the abyss and sell them at market price. Eyeless head. I play Dredge. You don't scare me, Woodfish. That's another game I really want to play. I never played Dredge. I played a little bit of uh, Dave the Diver, though. I kind of want to play more Dave the Diver, honestly. I was actually really enjoying it. But we kind of dropped it because I... Uh, it was really fun. You know, we ended up dropping Dave the Diver because everyone kind of, like, uh, I don't know. People kind of stopped showing up after, like, the second stream. Okay, I'm getting further away. All right. But yeah, no, it, Dave the Diver was really fun. I really like the ocean. I am so excited for Subnautica 2. Right? We should be more careful while wandering around. Oh! Well, why don't I just leave then? Well, that wasn't fair. There. And then I can just go back this way. Back towards the dock I left on. Right? What a eventful fishing trip. All right, forest. Right? But I... But yeah, like I said, I wanted to play Dredge. Dredge looked kind of fun. I... Wait. Oh. Well, you know what? My guy committed to having a fishing trip. And by God, is he going to have his fishing trip? He don't care if there's bad things happening. He doesn't care if he might die. He is going fishing. He wishes he was fi He's gonna be fishing. You trip them fishies. But yeah, no, I'm so excited for uh, Subnautica 2. Uh, the only, my only question is, is do we play that like before launch or are we like in like the pre-release stuff? Or do you guys want me to wait for the game to be done? Because the first Subnautica was one of my favorite games, actually. I really loved it. All right. Mongolian throat singing, please. I mean, like, then again, the thing could just get out of water and get me. Like, abandoning the boat may not be the best option if you think about it. 
Okay, uh, we need to get heads. So... Honestly, can fish even trip? I don't think so. We're going specifically... Yeah. Okay, so it is a set map. The eyeless head. All right, then. So now we need to go find the other ones. Might be best, might lose save data every couple updates, or... You know, I think, uh, I think we might play it once on the first release, just to look around. And then we uh, will probably wait for the full release beyond that. All right, you uh, you're not a very fast fish. I can. There we are. The left eye head. He's doing it in reverse order. But yeah, apparently uh, Subnautica 2 might be soon. And I'm excited. All right. Keep on chasing me. You won't catch me. I, uh, I really, I'm really hoping I could figure out a way to go to Ofkai. I might be, uh, I don't, the way, the way current stuff is currently going, though, it's not looking like I'm going to be able to go to too many things. Oh, wait. Is this game not actually beatable? If it isn't, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, wait. Here. Okay, so I want to say first one is like first one's probably like. Okay, so my first thought is maybe they're like right, left, uh, le uh, middle, and left. So, first one would be over here somewhere. No. All right, wait. OK, 
Okay, so it's not that way. Uh, why? Where oh where would I be a de would a decapitated head be? Uh. Sure. But yeah, no, I like. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do events where things are currently standing. I had a concert I really wanted to go to in uh, November, but I'm probably not gonna get to go now. Uh, there was a uh, a Jonathan Colton concert. I was gonna travel to to go to go see. Right here, this way. Yeah. Okay, left eye head. But I don't know where I am. Part of the problem. All right. Oh, hi. I lived. I actually didn't think I was going to live that time. Okay. Where was this first one? Okay. You know, let's try actually putting them in as we get them instead of uh, waiting to get all of them and do it all at once. Maybe that'll do something. Okay. So, we are safe. Interesting. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. You notice something else I really want to go do? I haven't done in a while. I want to get Mongol. I want to go to a Mongolian grill again. I really loved it the last couple times I went. I want to go again. But yeah, no, I, I... Honestly, you know what I've actually been... That was two feet away! In my direct path! That's not cool! All right, we're doing one more attempt and then I'm gonna call it for this game. But I, I've actually been thinking maybe I should try doing a subathon. Coming up with some stuff, cause like, the way stuff was going, I had a bunch of plans and I could just like, budget it out and make a go make goals and tell you guys what each levels or whatever would go get would get and then anything extra over that could die could go to I uh, probably would should if I was a smart person probably should go to life expenses 
for my stuff. I don't know. It is a thought. Alright. Um, fishing. But yeah, no, I haven't been fishing in forever. I think it'd be fun to go fishing again. But, like... I don't think I'm patient enough for it anymore. All right, I think I'm too far in to be getting anything other than the dock one now. Oh wait, so we go this way. Nope, tree. All right, come on. Left eye head. Okay, so logically, I came from this direction-ish to get the... the other one. So I feel like it has to be back this way ish. But we'll see. I think the the church is like right over here. I'm not sure anymore. All right, uh, this way, maybe? Uh... Come on. A vasty, spooky bitch. Leave me alone. There we go. We are, we are safe. All right. I'm... Grr. How this doing? How we doing? We doing stuff? Stuff be happening? I... I have no idea where the hell I am in this lake. All right. And like, I want to know what the creature is. I feel like I have to have some way of seeing the creature, right? More than... Hell yeah, we found it! All right. So from now, we need to go straight to the back and to the left, if I am remotely aware of where I am. And then we follow the bells back to the entrance. I think we might have it this time. Oh. Oh, 
All right. We got all three skulls. Uh, yeah, if it spawns inside the boat again, I'm going to be pissed. All right, so... All right. Oh, that was fun. All right. Um, next game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not able to actually win that. Um, I think we have time for one more itch.io game, and then I think I, it is probably time for Cell to go to bed. I know it's only been three hours and technically I don't have a reason to stay up. But like I said, I want to wake up early and start the Alan Wake 2. For reasons. Mostly that I looked at when the high peak of watching that game was and I want to do an experiment on that. Which is pretty close to when I've been streaming it. Plus it was it was left off in a really interesting spot. All right. And. And last but not least, Super VHS. Yo, my mouse is a VHS tape. I like kind of I used to like VHS tapes. Does this game have sound? Oh. There's no sound in this game. No more distractions during Alan Wake 2, especially with... I thought that was fine. We can distract as much as we want. In uh, Wisconsin Warehouse. Oh, interior. Wisconsin Warehouse. Late evening. Player. Age unknown. Hot, but does not know it. Steps forward. Yo, I'm hot. Hell yeah. Hardier than desks. I I I mostly remember building forts out of them, but like I kind of loved cartridges, like cartridge technology. Guys said a guy said they'd be out pitching to Nolan. Guess I got the place to myself. Wind driven snow twists outside the warehouse walls. Overhead the AC hums. Cozy, the floor is well kept, but a handful of props ask for closer attention. Player continues. Well, these VHS tapes aren't going to inspect themselves. It was. I, I, I loved that, actually. Yo, Breath of the Wild. Plinko. Cannibal Airlines. Wait. Yo, I can do this now. All right, cool. Controller works. Hell yeah. Oh, this is a lot of VHS tapes. Yo, wait, are they at a show? Wait. Exploding Varmints Part 1. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Samus Aran, Mario, Koopa Troopa, Goomba, Metroid. Yo, this looks like a set for like a YouTube channel. There's more than one part. I, I would a hundred percent love working in a place like this. Chunky's Chicken, Louisiana Kitchen. Wait. Eagle-eyed viewers will know a Popeye's logo is visible under the Chunky's branding. The offset logo dates back, uh, dates this box to 2014, and Popeye's would end this experimental relicensing venture the following year, having suffered massive losses. Wait, what? 
It's kind of hilarious. Wait, okay, what is this? On lunch break, go fuck yourself. Thanks, management. An illustrated reference guide for the captains of the United Earth Space Probe Agency. I uh, might have a Star Trek episode. Had I ever seen any? Ghost hunting for dummies. Dive into the ghostly world of Supernatural with Zach Baggins. Readers will enjoy the fact-based investigation of 100% real and not embarrassing topic. Boo! That scared me. All right. Interesting. Okay, I. Uh, where do I watch stuff? Space cop laser gun? Doesn't this look like a fun place to work, though? I can't believe they made a game with no audio, though. Like, put some audio. Is this even a horror game? Door locked. Oh. Okay. Uh, does like oh genuinely one of uh one of the things I have always wanted to do. Plinket, wait, Mister Plinket, is this is this the studio from Red Leather Me Red Letter Media? Wait, is this just like the office from Red Letter Media? Is this not even a horror game? Did I just somehow pick? I think I might have. Mr. Plinkett. He. All right, cool. I guess this is the. Osteoporosis dance. 47 minutes of simple walking type movements designed to provide gentle weight based exercises. Nearly killed Jim and Colin. Oh, okay. I. Uh... Okay, I guess we're just finding VHS tapes. Star Wars holiday special. Yeah, no, this is a hundred percent red letter media. All right. Well, this is not what I was expecting it to be at all. So we might, we might close this one out. <laughs> but that's kind of funny. If that actually is uh, what this was, is just red letter media, the game. That would make me laugh. So are these actually all movies? Future Force? Where? Um. Cannibal Airlines, Midnight Signals, Blood Debt, Nuki. I guess we can. Yeah, no, yeah, all right. Dang, a real life place with no audio, the horror. I know. Who makes a game without audio? But that that is kind of neat that it's just like the Red Letter Media Studio. Uh, genuinely? Oh, wait. Uh, what? Genuinely, I have always wanted to have. Oh, wait. It's VR compatible? Where? Uh, wait. I think something might just be broken now. Um, 
Actually, that's kind of spooky. Wait. Why is there suddenly just no audio on anything? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why is there no audio on anything? I'm actually kind of scared. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hold on. Pulling up TikTok. Uh, okay, thank God. Okay. No. All right. So my Spotify suddenly broken now. So I... I, um, I, I, wait, 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 okay, uh, hold, hold, I, 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 goodbye, spirits, goodbye, please. Please stop messing with my tech if you are if you're real. Let's see if that helped. I Okay, I I Perfect. Okay. It did help, actually. Maybe. It didn't. I'm pretty sure it didn't, actually. Alright, so, I... I... Dang it. I guess we'll pick another game? I, I, I actually thought I was gonna have... I was trying to, like, use, like... Like, I, I was trying to use up, like, another, uh, like, half hour. So, uh, since that game turned out to be, you're welcome. For real, that game just, like, didn't just kill its own audio, it killed my audio. All right. I. All right, let's try this one. The Undying Beast. All right. The Undying Beast. All right. Uh, all right. There we go. And then move me over here again. All right. The Undying Beast. I accept death. Ooh, space. The final frontier. These are the journeys of our, of the Starship Enterprise. Coffin. Oh, no, we're dead. Wow, that game's already wrong. Because I'm a total beast, and I just died, apparently. All right. Fog. Go through the fog towards the light. Nope, there's audio in this one. It's just really quiet. Oh, we're back at VHS tapes. No, wait. The story began with nothing, an absent planar void. There was nothing, and then there was a scream.
Okay. Ooh. All right. Go towards the light, Cell. Go towards the light. Screen came from the mist, but it also came from a place lost in time. Okay. Also, I just realized that I put myself in a bad, in not the correct spot. A daffodil! Unjustly slain, the beast draws again, their motives yet put to rest. Okay. Another daffodil. Daffodils are a nice flower. I don't know if you guys can kind of hear the game. Like I said, it is pretty quiet. Oh, wait. Okay, and then I... I I figured it out. My bad. Oh, another daffodil. Three of seven. Oh, what was that? Okay. I. Uh, it was like. A spiky ball with a ring. Like one of those, like, sp ring angels or something. The important tragedy. Their time had come so quickly. They could not die. They mustn't be dead. Okay. I say walking towards the sound that made that. Beast would deny death would exist beyond. They wouldn't accept this lie. Okay. Daffodil. Daffodils just as a as a flower name just sound intrinsically adorable. I I, I don't know something about it. Out there picking daffodils in the in the in the sunshine of spring. Like a lot of other flowers don't really sound like cute, but something about just the name the word daffodil sounds very Oh, that was like a dragon. Okay, so we've seen a biblically accurate angel and a dragon now. Oh, hi! That, that was a horse? Oh god, it's the hat man! But I haven't even taken any Benadryl! The beast perverting fate just by existing in his absence haunted nothing but an empty void. Be careful not to take too many Benadryl, or you might see the Hat Man. Wayward, hello! Fate would not abide. Death would struggle on regardless of his hunger. Nothing can exist here. There are no exceptions. Daffodil! All right, uh, here a computer B. All right, we slip on over here. Gnawing, pointed, void, pulled towards to the beast, tearing its form into itself. The eternal beast would die. How is there, like, internet or whatever out here? Oh. It's a whale.
Oh. Shoot it, kill it. Oh. Okay. Shotgun. All right. I'll kill the beast. I'll kill whatever. It's a video game. This is genuinely kind of giving me chills, though. Uh, all right. Uh. Yo. It was a person. Ending one of two. What's the other ending? Wait. Their name is Akuma Kira. That's that's badass. Okay. Uh, damn. I, I accept death. Let's let's try that again. Daffodil. I bet uh, the other ending has to be collect all the daffodils, though, right? What you guys thinking about? Uh, how do you guys think about this uh, deal of death? Yeah, wh how you guys feeling about uh, late night spooky games? You guys enjoying that? All right. Come with me. It was a nice surprise. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll be honest. I was kind of struggling to get myself to actually start stream the last few days. So, but I had I had scheduled spooky games and uh, Ouija board. I had both of them on the schedule, and since they already skipped Ouija board, I thought I would just combine them because I don't think the Ouija board would took that long anyway. I don't think I could have filled three plus hours with Ouija board. Came from the mid. All right. We're looking for daffodils, though, game. I don't need no spooky computers. I need daffodils. You know, the horse was actually scarier than the actual ending monster. You must kill it. Kill it yourself. Wait. You got to know Madams a bit more. Bit of a demon magnet. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whale. Found the whale. Which is interesting. So it doesn't actually matter how many computers I've read. The computers just give me a gun. But it is like a persistent regular map. Three of seven daffodils. Interesting. All right. There was one over here in the graveyard. All right. Unjustly slain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, there is the biblically accurate angel. All right. I... Okay, so there is two more daffodils to find. But, you know, I, it makes sense. Isn't Madame Mafia from, uh... Doesn't she hang out with, uh... Isn't she from over by, uh, like, Novellas? It makes sense that she's a demon magnet. She hangs out with demons. Isn't a Campion a demon? Is a Campion's what... Novella is. Beneath would not deny that. Bye bye bye. Alright. Onward. Okay, uh... Yo, it's the hat man! But for real, that's like an actual, like, thing. See the hat man. Uh, I used to play a game called LSD Dream Simulator. Because... It was a it was a kind of spooky game, but it was also just super interesting because even to this day nobody really knows how LSD Dream Simulator works. Like they can figure out bits of it, but like all the triggers are so garbled that like nobody actually knows how it works and there's stuff in the game that is attached to triggers. Oh. Hello. But it doesn't actually do anything. It's a horse. Of course. I think that was the one I never got before. Alright. It's the hat man. Just by existing on this plane... All right. Daffodils. I really do want I really do want to like grow more plants. I think that would be really fun. You know what is something I think is really cute? I uh, so when I uh, when my when my mom cough cough my engineer found out I was doing the going to do the Ouija board stream. She called me up and told me to stop and not do it and get rid of the Ouija board as soon as I could. And was upset at me for buying it. But also, uh, and I just think that that's really just kind of cute that she was, like, worried about that. But also, I... Last time I talked to her, she was like, How's your fish tank doing? I... Uh, have you gotten have you gotten any new stuff for it or anything? You know, I'm like, I haven't been able to afford it. And she was just like, let me know, I'll get you I will get you fish tank stuff. I love fish tanks. And she was like, oh like is she like the reason I wanted one is because I always grew up with one. Like or just in the house and stuff, like around. Hey, it's shotgun time. But we are missing one daffodil. But I. But yeah, I. But yeah, she was just like so excited that I wanted, I still wanted more stuff for the fish tank. Because I, I was telling her that I wanted to move my office into the same room as my fish tank is, so that I can see it more. Because I don't, uh, because, uh, where it is currently. I don't actually... I don't actually get to... It sits in the other room a lot of the time. And I'm... Then where I'm sitting. And I would like to be able to be like, Fishies! More often. Where's this last daffodil?
Um, but yeah, she was just like, I don't know, she was all just like, we need to get you more stuff if it's not done yet. You want me to pick out stuff for it? It was cute. It made me so happy. Wanted to take me to, like, the fish tank store. Alright. So, I, I... I will say, you know what the worst part about horror games, though, for me at this point? And part of why I like older horror games more... Is that, uh... Is that I usually can see through... ...the stuff with a little bit. Like, I can see, like, what can attack me and what can't and what it's gonna do. That's why I like a lot of these, like, indie ones a little bit more, because, like... ...past a certain point, it's kinda hard to tell. All right. So we got all the daffodils. Do we get a different ending if we go to kill him now? All right. Now wait. Ending two. We left daffodils at the grave. Ah, uh, all right. You know what? This one was interesting. Kind of cool. Kind of short. All right. That that one was fun. All right. I. Uh... All right, I say we are close enough that I'm going to wrap up for the night then. Uh, thank you guys all so much for being here. I hope you had a I hope you had a wonderful time. Um I mean, I uh, I mean I have I do have Okay, hold on. You know what? I have a few more. Best when they are a bit shorter. Yeah, I I agree. I like being able to just get through them. Let's see here. I think I have... I, I think I have... I have the broken one that I'm just like... I can. So I'm just going to delete that one. Alright. I believe I have... One, two... Three more horror games that I had lined up. Theoretically, I could save them for next time. And that way I could double check and make sure that they're horror games. Because we got through most of the op uh, the obvious horror games. Um, or, if you guys would like, we can do some more horror games. But uh, we, I will try to do another Itch.io Horror Night. Because I, I always love doing itch.io horror night just something or just itch.io night or itch yeah itch.io i uh, so i just like something about playing like super indie super indie is, is just fun you know what do you guys think more games done for the night um I'm honestly not really sure what I want to do. Uh, always more. All right. 
All right, let's try. Let's yeah, let, let's let's see if we can get through all of them then. Let's try distort. I'm pretty sure this is a horror game. All right. Boy. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what the best part of these games? Yo, my head. What happened? The best part about Itch.io Night is usually by the time I actually get to playing the game, I have forgotten the game. <laughs> like, I don't remember what the game was. Because I do read, like, the synopsises and stuff when I download them. Uh, there are four crew members on the small ship. We have one access key card. Get into the pods and escape. We must not forget about the mission. Finding new forms of life. But in case of an emergency, following safety protocols. Debriefing about new findings. I guess maybe we found an alien. Uh, findings, our initial arrival at the sector has been smooth. It's not a life yet. A couple days here, and we will be on our way to the next sector. Okay. Um. Okay. One of the rocks hit our east wing, building in a huge crack in the glass, and the crawled out from there. Inside of the ship, we've not contacted the station. Use escape pods to go back. Just need an access key card. Okay. Um. Yeah, you know, it, it makes sense that it wouldn't be correct. That'd be terrible security. Okay. Oh. Okay. We've discovered peculiar rock formations that emit low frequency hum upon close inspection. So the rocks are alive. Okay. Now, where would I find a key card? Maybe further in here? I think they're all up to something. This mission, I'm trying to find new life forms, really. Where sectors nothing was discovered. I think the reason we are sent here is simply to die. All contact with us strange, right? This as little equipment as possible. Lock two crew members in the main room and change the keypad code. I feel bad about hitting Jason in the head. Survive. I am planning on leaving the ship right after I fix the pod manually. In the main room, the code responds to the terminal, so it's for wait. Four star star. Where? Where do they mean if I go four? Three. Or does it mean like four, four, f f four, and then the actual star? Four, three, six. Okay. 
Okay, wait. That one's four. Three, six, seven. Four, three, six, seven. In some order. All right. Four th seven three six. Three seven. Wait. The terminal numbers B three. D4 B7 Okay, hold on. In the main room, change the keypad code. The code corresponds to the terminal number, so it is 4. Star, star, star. Wait. I don't get it. Wait, 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 wait. Six. Okay. That's what happened to the dude who uh, betrayed me. Hey. Okay. Three. Hey. Oh, okay. So we know it starts with four. And then... Oh. Oh no, I should get out fast. Okay, but I need the key card. Okay. Um and let's get the rock out of here. It's like a head crab. Cool. That was... Most of the game was trying to figure out the number password. Okay, well, you know what? That's fair. So that was Distort. I... Uh, they really could have done something with the monster. But, alright. Um... Real quick, I'm going to Google if this was even a horror game. Oh, it's a Christmas horror game. Uh, let's not even bother with that then. Um. All right, two more. Well, one more horror game and then a Halloween game. Yeah, that one was pretty chill. Not really much horror. Kind of just like ambiance. It had a spooky, uh, it had some spooky ambiance. I'll give it that much. All right. I opened this one and it's not going. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. There's two copies of the game running. Wait. Oh, 
Okay. This is space to investigate. Investigate. He's dead. He's so dead. Dead man, right there. Got something you want to ask me about? Okay. He was at the bar last night. Here are photos of the other patrons. That's all I have. Okay, we got a homeless man. Baldy. That guy. Interesting. God, what a spooky way to be a detective. Oh, hey, it's you. Yeah, that's me. That's me. One of my closest friends. He was having financial troubles. Maybe the bank could tell you more. I don't know that guy. He works over at the office. We would all go out for drinks. Huh? Okay. Gotta look for the office then. Hey, okay, where's the office? Why is everyone in this town so spooky looking? Supermart. You know, that wouldn't even be that. Why does. Why they even made that sound spooky? I don't know anything. All right, then. No, all right. Yep, that's a body, all right. Uh, Corp. I'm not helping you. Well, fine. Let people be dying in the streets then, dude. Like. Ah, the bank. He said to go ask people at the bank, so... Not you, though. I'm guessing it's you. Before his death, he transferred a large sum of money. He's the, he, here's the statement. W, what the great look, misty and giant corp building in the middle. Yes, that's the person our poor deceased friend was transferring money to. Can't help you there. Are you sure you want to look into this? All right, then. Can't help you there. We work together. Such a shame. Looks like a rough character. Sorry, I don't know anything else. They were friends. He lives in the building next to Pete's. Isn't that you? Wait.
All right. Uh. Okay. I mean, I live in a giant building that says Corp, though, on it. And it has a big V on it, too. All right, um... Interesting. Now where would I... Okay, you're a regular guy. Oh. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing? Come on. All right. That that is 100% you, right? Yeah, that is 100% you. It even has the you even have the background. I don't think we know what we're doing. You know what? I guess so. Uh, all right, I guess we should go talk to, uh, what's-his-face? I will say, like... I hate doing stuff like this, though. Boss had a lot of funny. There were, people were always jealous. Interesting. Alright, how about you? I don't know that guy. Over at the office, we'd all go out for drinks. I think someone wanted this gun. They hate everyone from the company here. I feel like I'm being followed. Well... We can help the cop now. He did right by me and always paid his tab. Some folks thought his company was ruining this town. He's with the dead guy. No idea where he is now. The bar the other night with the dead guy. Don't know anything else. What about that? I think I saw a guy like that over at the graveyard. Creepy. Somewhere around here. Hmm. Might work at the... Might work at the top building. It's on the other side of the park from the church. Look, man. I'm no accountant. I'm no liar. I've complied with you so far. Okay. I guess we gotta go arrest the guy. Alright. Let's go arrest him. I don't think they think we know what we're doing. But I know what I'm doing. Are they watching all of us? I got a feeling. Oh, he's gone. Where? Wait, he's gone. Where did he go? Where? 
That actually is kind of... He's dead. Okay. He dipped, realized you figured something out? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but it says... That they're following us. And I'm like... Who's following me? Where? No one is moving. I see. No one around this mess is safe. Okay. I guess now we go try to talk to him. Don't know anything. Wait. What's happening? Something. Dude just dipped, so... The music got intense. Who else do I bring this to? Oh, I gotta warn the people so they don't die. I get it. I'm sure in Cherry Creek we look out for each other. His buddy is dead. Do you hear the bell? Do you understand? In Cherry Creek we all look out for each other. He's dead. Some of us tolerate the company more than others. He knew I was following him. He's next. That was him, though. I talked to him. Wait, what the... F Wait, what the fuck is happening? Wait. What? I, I, I don't know. I guess uh, we take our place with the rest of the Cherry Creek people. Uh, as Cherry Creek people look out for each other. I don't even know what happened. The end, okay, so I was following it along until the ending when it just like threw out every single thing of the plot so far. And then I was just confused. Uh, okay. So that was I uh, space to investigate. Um, let me see it. All right. Well, that was interesting to say the least. Um, all right. Let me see a liminal. Dreams. Is this horror? Um, it is. Okay. It is part of the LSD Dream Simulator Jam. Okay, wait. Did I actually play this before? This might be one of the ones we've already played. 
Okay. Also, hi, Volvi. Okay. Oh, this one's VR. I don't have to play it in VR. Okay. Also has no sound again. Uh, I just woke up in this place. It's familiar, but I know I've never been here before. There's no one around. No way out. I don't know what to do. Just found this. I don't know what it means. The controls to the game. Okay. I don't know how much time has passed, but it feels like days. I don't feel hungry. I don't feel sleepy. Neither cold or warm. This is surreal. Seems to be a running theme with the games. Yeah. Uh, the TV has suddenly turned on. There's an annoying static on the screen. I can't turn it off. Can all this be real? I try to wake up, but no matter how much I hurt myself, it doesn't work. The TV's calling my name. I can hear it from here. I'm going to touch it. What TV? Phone. Oh, all right. Yo, it's a bath. Broken mirrors. You know, I've actually. Oh, don't worry about it. I yeah, links are banned from anyone other than mods. So just because, you know, make it hard for like the bots and whatever. I actually have had dreams about bathtubs like this. Like, these are prevailing, like, recurring themes and dreams I've had. It does make it look like you, I said something NSFW. But yeah, no, like, the big, like, square bathtub in the center of the floor. Like, some in the center of, like, like a bathroom. For something I've never actually seen, I do, in fact, have those in my dreams a lot. I just think it's odd. There's something going on with this bookshelf right here. Okay, well, the game wanted me to touch the TV. Hey, I'm outside, sort of. Itch IO. This is a dialogue test. Press the arrow key to continue. Well done. You can also skip the messages. Try to press the arrow before the sentence finishes. This is going to be so long, so the sooner you... Alright, cool. Alright, um... Select a dream. Green world, pink world, orange world, yellow world. I'm going to go pink world. Ghost town in the middle of the sea. Yeah, commas should be fine. Websites don't use commas. Like, I I actually used to call them a Chio a lot. Like, itch.io. But then a lot of people are like, it's itch.io. So I kind of use a mix. Hello, stranger. I need to ask you... Hello, stranger. I need to ask you a favor. Oh. I don't have much time. My memories are slowly fading. Before that, I want to betray them in my last piece. I've been trying for hours, but all in my mind is this damn concrete. If you could help me get my inspiration back, I would be grateful. Please, stranger, help me before I lose myself. Only I could remember the past. Please, stranger, help me. Okay. Okay, Mr. Nautilus. I... I'll try. Alright. It's like saying... I like saying dot because it makes it easy to understand I'm talking about a website. Uh, yeah, I always like gloss over the dot. Brace the concrete and there will be stone. We shall embrace it as our own kind and there will be welfare and we as one will raise... 
Oh, dear one, I am here to serve. I'm here to become. Nagara is approaching. Worthy, but we have been chosen, so we will be grateful and we will accept it. And we'll get rid of the dirty, weak, unworthy flesh to become stronger, to succeed as beings. Okay. Cool story, brah. Rest in peace, the great lord away. Okay. Interesting. Yellow. Why was the first one, like, red then? First one we looked at was a different color, I swear. I guess not. All right. Moving on. Favorite character material right there. Also, definitely a Souls NPC died there because you didn't get them a random jar in the future. Oh, 100%. That is 100% how a Souls game would do something. Just random enemy. Kind of weird. You will love them forever if you actually manage to talk to them. All right, um. The silence in this game is literally killing me. I am like, God, sound, please. Honestly. The lack of sound is making me like almost want to drop this game already. Yesterday I saw the father touching one of the chandeliers. Who's so disturbed? I think he is hiding something. Maybe the only one who realized that something is wrong with him. I'm gonna find out. The father touching chandeliers. Sn randomly sneaky snitch starts playing. What's sneaky snitch? Okay. Put it on yourself to add to the experience. I don't even know what it is. Is it a song? Not even ambience, just dead. Yeah, exactly. Something about that is like throwing me off and it's like more unnerving than actually like anything with this game. It's a great music piece. Hmm. Interesting. You know, part of me almost can hear when I open doors. Wait, is it going out the... Might be actually coming out of my headset. Because I can like faintly hear the doors opening, kind of. It might be intended. Uh, let's see if there's any updates from my Nautilus buddy. I only remember the past. Please, stranger, help me. Alright, well, apparently there's, like, a special chandelier maybe in here. No? Oh, there's other chandeliers out here touching. You know, I would not doubt it. Pure silence bothers me. Like, it genuinely, I find pure silence to be like creepy and unnerving. All right. Um,.
All right, what do you guys think? Drop this one. I'm like, ah. Uh... Isn't there a room that was made to be as quiet as possible? Yeah. Maze? Oh, hello. Uh, hi. Very boring and lonely in here, you know. I haven't come to visit in a long time. But this, let's play hide and seek. Find me three times, you win. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, okay. It's a new way to show angels as cute girls with. Wait. I 100% hear stuff. Wait. Oh. We are. I can hear it. Hold on. Uh. What is this? Is it this one? This one. Haha. <laughs> Is it okay now? Is it okay? Okay, I turned it way down, so... Okay, uh, let's see here. Biblically accurate angel. It was beyond loud. That was ear screeching. Oh, I'm sorry. Genuinely, I am really sorry. Okay, shortcut made. All right, come on in through here. And we're supposed to find her five times. Legit the exact opposite of dead silence. The whiplash is crazy. Right? Okay. Um, that's supposed to do. Okay, so we're up here. We got a dream catcher. All right, um.
Okay, so then we go through here. This is a room. Terrible hedge maze. Gave me knee pain. You know what? I feel it. What's happening? I will say, for a game from an LSD dream simulator game jam, I do 100% think that this game does feel incredibly dreamlike in like... Maybe not a good way, but in a way. All right. All right, we're somewhere. Feels familiar. Everything is so large while other things are small. Sounds are hellish, but the area is nonsensical. God, you are terrifying. Oh, you found me. I'm gonna hide better now. Don't look. You know what? Kind of. Like, I, I agree. From me to a strange place. It seems like a hyperbolic playground. Strange friendly creature, the only one to play at first I was afraid, but in the end I had fun. There's no one else to be seen. Alright. All gates unlocked now. It's been really funny if she's just in the next bathroom over. It would have been. Alright, um... Oh, she's up there. No, that's not her. Also, this is a way easier way to see her anyway. All right, interesting. Not correct. Um... Crawl through there. I have a feeling she's in here somewhere. One of the dead ends. So, round and round and round we go. Um, you're still getting me every time I pop around and see you somewhere. Oh, you're so good at this. Okay, this is the last one. It's gonna be even harder. Find me and you'll win. I know exactly where she'll be. What do I win? A brand new car! Alright, um... Well, actually, no, no, she's not going to be in here. She's going to be over in here now. This is like purgatory, because I don't feel like hell, but it's definitely not heaven. I mean, I I could see it. Something like that. You know what? Oh, hi again. Guess you've won the game. Anyway, it was so much fun. Feel free to stay as long as you want, but don't forget to say goodbye before you leave. Oh, hi again. Do you want something? Come with me. What? Are you serious? I can finally leave this place? Plus, it's happening. Well, let's go then. Oh. oh okay. Oh, 
Oh, hi again. This place is very interesting. So maybe I'm just researching some stuff. Okay. It almost feels like I wasn't supposed to do that. Um. All right, into the TV again. Two stars. All right, well. Guess we'll try Pink World again. No stranger, I need to ask you a favor. Um, before you lose yourself in the music, the moment, the internet, and never let it go. Stop, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You bet I. Wait. Oh. I really like this island. It's more popular than the previous place, and the creatures here are so kind. I was relaxing under the trees, surrounded by exotic flowers, learning about their traditions. Let's continue my investigation. Let's escape this place. I want to return home. All right. You've spoken to me again. Everything has gone according to wishes, despite the traitors who have been punished the way it ordered. Um, we're gonna meet it again finally. Okay. Uh, pull the lever, Kronk. Interesting. I got a cube! Traitor lies here. Those who betray the great lord. I got a cube! Do 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 I have that song in, in my head. Now tell me, Mr. Nautilus, do you want a cube? That thing. Yes, I remember now. I started when it strand when it stranded on the coast. Let me paint it. Okay. Only can remember the past. Please, stranger, help me. Okay. I painted a cube. So I could help my little dude. I gotta go into more building. I found me a scroll. And I'm going in opening doors. Bathtub, a toilet, and I leave this house because I think I am out of things. Do 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 do. Go with me to this stranger's pantry. Gotta look for things to give a squid man. It wasn't a squid, but a nautilus, but it didn't rhyme. Alright, uh, alright. Uh, hello? Alright, come on. I'm scared, I don't want this, uh... But people are getting killed for blasphemy, but we didn't ask for this. Yeah, 100% forgot to check the bedside table. I'm gonna find out. We already checked that, but... Funny part is, I think I'm being timed. I got you a scroll. Maybe you want to paint it. Only can remember the past. 
All right. Well, I guess you don't want to scroll. You're being watched. Yeah, by like however many people are here right now, right? Hopefully. Or maybe by the ghosts I summoned earlier. I could see that too. Alright, um... Oh. What am I being watched by? You see somebody watching me? I... Imagine of ghosts also make... Ghosts also make Twitch accounts? Yo, that'd be awesome. So many more people, like, doubting about. That'd be great. Actually, no, I, I follow a ghost. Uh, Mint Phantom. And Bongo. Ghosts are living in your place rent-free. They might as well make make watching you part of the rent agreement. You know? Yeah, exactly. Certainly helped me out at very least. Aye aye. Like I always I like I always question why ghosts have to do everything like all spooky. Why can't they just like write me a post it note? Know what I mean? Why the spoopy bullshit? Okay, now I'm up here. Um... I'm on the up and up. Oh yeah. Up and up 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 up. up. Okay. Cool. I more doors open or something over here? Dool, hello. We're out of milk. Makes sense. We got the milk. You forgot the milk. It's okay. It's just milk. I got the milk. Got the milk. You forgot the milk. milk. You forgot the milk. That's a real song. It's by Ukulele Viking on YouTube. You forgot the milk. It's okay. It's just milk. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's dumb, but I love it. You forgot the milk. Honestly, really go support ukulele. Go actually listen to the ukulele Viking version. I shared it in the Discord once. Because he is, or they, I don't actually know what their 
pronouns are. I don't. I shouldn't jump to something. But um, they are a very small musician, and they have like just a very small YouTuber in general, and they basically haven't made anything since the pandemic. Like everyone went back to work, and I loved everything that they were making during the pandemic. So I just am like. I try to send people their way, hoping that they'll make more stuff. Solis, hi! Look at me, and how are you? That flower. Yes, I remember now. Island was once full of nature. Let me paint it. Okay. Thank you, stranger. This painting is finished. The memories of the past of this world won't be forgotten. Now I'll wait for the end of it all. Come with me. Mr. Snotalai. Oh, stranger, no. Savior. Of course I'll go with you. I won't let I won't let be consumed by this world. Okay. I'm gonna guess you're gonna be in the bathtub. Oh hey. They added a painting. The first game, it was for a jam, so it's more like an experiment, but it has good aesthetics. Yes. Oh. That was the poster I grabbed. I'm, like, making a home. For me and all the weird characters I'm finding. Welcome, Savior. Thank you again for bringing me to this place. I'll be resting here if you don't mind. All right. But uh, welcome to so uh, watching the. Found out that Phasma. Oh, wait, hold on. But uh, Solus, so yeah, we're doing super obscure Ichio games today. Spooky with the attempt of it being spooky, but they're not really that spooky. Watching the You Forgot the Milk video now. I get why you're singing it while playing this game. Yeah. I'm glad I found out Phasmophobia is coming to console at the end of the month since it will... Yo, that's awesome, actually. Uh, sometime after... Sometime the week of Halloween, I'm gonna actually go do uh, VR Phasmo cell. We agreed to it, so we gonna be doing it. Oh, hey, he hung up the painting he painted. All right, uh, yellow world. A house stands in the middle of nowhere. With her husband, Eustace Bags. But creepy stuff happens in nowhere. It's up for courage to save his new home. Abandoned as a pup. He was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere. This does give me, like, actually, like, nowhere from Courage the Cowardly Dog vibes. Okay, um... So yeah, first things first, find whatever the resident of this world is gonna be. Once upon a time, there was a clown and blood. Oh, okay. Cool. Glad to know we've went from creepy to from weird to creepy again. How do you unlock a fence? Oh, okay. They locked the fence. I... All right, then. Stupid dog! Arr! You make me look bad! All right, um...
I'm gonna guess it's this one. No? Oh, it's the key to the fence, I assume, then. Not that fence. This fence? This fence? Alright. Well, well, well. What do we have here? I've only ever seen fences with latches, not keys. Dead puns return. They do indeed. I do. I, I just, I love a good dad joke. Keep it coming. At some point, the bucket will come up. All right, um... Actually, I'm tired of having... That's giving me a headache, having... Is there even a wire? I don't actually think so. So I had... I just had my VR headset on top of my head so I could hear the game. Because this was unexpectedly a VR game. But, um... I kind of got... I can't do that. It's giving me a headache. I don't think there is a being of this world. I think it's just spooky, maybe. The pun at the... Oh. Got darker. I got a sickle. Wait. I, uh... Have you ever actually, like, listened to, like, interviews with uh, the creator of Courage the Cowardly Dog? He talks about a bunch of, like, stuff that I think is kind of, like, really wholesome. Apparently, like, he actually made Courage with the intention of showing kids that it's okay to be scared. Like, that was, like, that was actually his, like, big goal with Courage the Cowardly Dog. To make like horror that's why he wanted to make horror content for kids oh it's like a ghost is it was just like it's okay to be scared being brave is like the whole is I Anyways, it's like there's like a sweetness to it. And I kind of like love that. That's like people that make horror stuff seem to have oddly sweet personalities. Like Junji Ito, Ito is just a big lovable goofball. I, I love like, have you heard like him talk about why he makes some of his horror stuff? Or the clown was sad because all the people laugh at him. But that's the point of a clown though. I'm just saying, if a clown can't take people laughing at them, they might need to get a new career. But yeah, it's just, like a lot of stuff. I think this is wheat, actually. Really tall wheat. Like the rule number one of clown schools, make people laugh, but only at the cost of yourself. Yeah. God, it's getting children of the corn up in here. It's a bush. Rope? Okay. I assume we're getting... Oh my god! So the clown came back. Okay. Cool. I hope you, uh... I hope you, uh, are enjoying your time back home, Mr. Clown. Uh, 
I I I think we gotta go put the rope on the well. You forgot the milk. Got the milk. It's okay. It's just milk. All right. I got a teddy bear. You forgot the milk. You forgot the milk. It's okay. It's just milk. All right. Um. All right, uh, I don't know where to go. We got the teddy bear, but I think that's just gonna go back in my bedroom. I... Listen, this isn't an earworm. This was implanted into my subconscious. Ah, uh, yes, the best kind. I learned it. I, I know a thing, and I'm gonna make it your problem. All right, can't go that way. Oh, it's a ghost. You shall suffer with me, Sal. Well, I'm not suffering, to be honest. I actually am happy about it. Nautilus. I goes. Hi. For real, the ghost just locks you in place for like a couple seconds and then lets you go. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I. Uh, is that all we got from that world? One star. Oh. It means we missed stuff. Okay. Turned around too fast. Almost spooked you out of your seat. I'm sorry. Oh, great. I have to unlock everything again. Hey, there's something here I can take back somewhere. That I completely missed. Other than my ghost friend. I... Okay, or at least I assume we're friends. Hope we're friends. All right. Um. You forgot the milk. Got the milk. It's okay. It's just milk. Oh. Don't 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 oh hello uh am I supposed to be out here wait I uh, uh, okay
there was a switch. There was a switch. Um. Okay. Well, we did something. Oh, wait, that chest in the bedroom. That's what we were going for. Oh. We unlocked an extra map doing that. Okay. Um. Hold on, I'm trying to think if there was a key anywhere. Okay, hey, so we need the keys again, but the teddy bear, all the gates stayed open. Uh, maybe I should just go up and try the chest again, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. No? Um... This really is nowhere from Courage the Cowardly Dog, right? Alright, I don't think I care enough. Okay, get me out of this place. Take me to somewhere. Alright. The loneliness is killing me, and I must confess, I still believe. Orange world. All right. This is a hunt. This is officially though the last game we're doing. Take me to Snurch. Wait, what's take me to Snurch? Like Snake Church? That princess. Trapped for God knows how long. If only I could reach the top of the tower. I'm the only one with the pro uh, power to open that door. Snail Church. No matter how much I try, I always fail. Alright. Okay, well, we'll get you there. Don't you worry, my guy. Finds the sign. Ooh, that's a big sword. I want. I want a big sword. Gimme, gimme, big sword. Okay, interesting. Do 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 sharks with legs, shark with legs. Have you guys heard that? Honestly, like if you if you know Cell very well, you'll know that Cell is like love like I love weird music especially. Like that's like one of my biggest things like biggest things about like my taste in music is I like weird stuff. Tell you my shit snins. You can snarp in your knife. It's so deep. You'll love Sneaky Snitch. You should send it to me then. Oh, new room. Books and things. Huzzah! Barely good night. I have found the key. You actually know that music, you just don't know how it's called? Oh, okay. Where this music's from? But yeah, I, that's a big thing for me, though, is just I like weird music. I love a good weird song.
Okay, need to get to the top of the tower. So, come in here. Nothing. Over here, nothing. The song's given me several vivid flashbacks of Teenage Head. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, alright. All right, we're up. Legend of the Tower, or the Tonver, Orver. This is the princess is trapped at the top of the building. However, traps and spells flood its chambers. Great not strengths at their home, uh, their home and their lives just to try to decipher the enigma and rescue the princess without success. Oh, you're really getting me curious on what this is now. And I have a feeling I'm going to listen to it and be like, oh. Okay, we made it up. Uh... No! Ah, uh, high octane platforming. All right. Not even good platforming, kind of mediocre platforming in a game not really designed for platforming. All right. Ah, portals. All right. Here there's a smoking hot babe on the top of this tower. After what has seemed like centuries of research, the following conclusion has been reached. The princess's door is sealed with powerful magic. The only way to make it way through is when the unbreakable discipline and willpower. Only those who are completely willing to give it life for the cause will be rewarded. It will be foolish enough to commit such a feat. Ah. Uh. Yo, wait. You're up here now. Oh, we're at the bottom again. But I have a shortcut now. So we really just... Small, or was that thing killed by a giant? I think it was killed... I think it's a giant, and it was killed by a giant. That is personally how I want to view it. Uh, all right. Okay. Onward. This game is weirdly enough. I think it's because of all the silence. This game is making me tired. Oh, I see what we have to do. What I must do. But I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Alright. And here we go. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Like a gnome we leap. Alright. Up. Up, 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 up. No! Onward. Uh, 
<sighs> so I finished watching uh, quality assurance testing in a new world. That's uh, that's actually a really good anime. It sounds like it's going to be your typical Isekai anime, right? But it's not really an Isekai anime at all. It's actually about people trapped in... They're trapped in a game. But uh, the thing is, is that they're, it's, they're beta testers. So the solution is for them to just do their job and beta test the game. All right. Bye, Duel. It's good to see you. Yeah, yeah. So, and they actually teach you if you actually wa if you uh, watch the show, they actually kind of teach you how beta testing works, because it's actually not. Or they're not even sorry. They're like the Q and A people for a video game, but they actually kind of teach you what goes into Q and A for a video game, because it's not all like fun stuff. They talk about how you have to actually like run in and sit and jump against every surface of the game. And a bunch of stuff like that. And then they have a whole plot going with uh, Rogue. But since they're, they're stuck in this, like, it's like a super VR world. And since they're stuck in the world and they can't log out, a bunch of the beta testers obviously go ahead and decide hey we're just gonna live like gods with debug mode and de but debug mode is not actually made for people to sit in all the time or even to use so they get like that actually kind of makes it all worse and they're like actively messing the world up and getting Messing themselves up and getting themselves stuck in basically little micro hells. Because, like, some people are, like, stuck in, like, free camera mode. As an example. Where they are, uh... Just a camera that can move around. They're basically a ghost. And since they can't use their mouse, they can't actually interact with anything to uh turn it off it's it's kind of some cool stuff like that damn it damn it uh, okay that reminds me that there's a manga where a dude got used to into a game he was playing but he was a speedrunner the wild bugs to get the final boss and beat him with a stick without realizing he even got transported that's kind of hilarious actually is that a manga or is that a uh, an anime? Or what is it? Oh, manga. Die. All right. Cell is officially too tired. Eh. <sighs> Yeah. All right. Well. Oh, hello. I I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to do that, but okay. Yeah, sure. Big sword. I... Uh, okay, I... I have a question for you guys on like, like I said, I I'm kind of been thinking about maybe doing a subathon, 
And so uh, I got the free time again. I, uh... Would you guys want me to, like, s with subathons, do you think it should be on, actually on 24-7? Or do you think that it's okay to shut it off, uh, sh turn, shut the stream off while you're, like, asleep? I always thought about that. Because uh, I'm in the camp that stream should be left on the whole time. Or at least as much as physically possible. Obviously, stuff like power or your computer might need to actually cool down. So you might need to turn it off like a couple times during. But... Wait, where am I? Did I just like casually go where I was supposed to go while like not even thinking about it? I think it would be cool to make it 24 seven, but you got to check your PC and also, still get actually good sleep. I've seen what can happen if you don't keep it going when you sleep. Those things can last a good long while. Quicker than the conscious mind. Apparently. Uh... Mirror... Wait, now what? All right, and then... We go up again. Uh, I guess also since we're asking questions... Uh, as far as, like, merch goes, because I actually, I kind of want to start on the merch. You, would you, as far as, like, merch for something like a streamer goes, would you rather something that could blend in with regular people stuff? Or would you rather, uh, something, like, truly, like, like, more, like, anime t-shirt-y? See math problem in your mind immediately gets the answer, but you never did the calculation? I wonder what it would be like to actually think at that speed. I know, right? I, I love that kind of stuff. I never, like, brains are weird. I feel like my mental state has degraded rapidly in, like, the last 10 minutes. 10, 20 minutes, however long. Years of experimenting and study with the type of magic that creates the block. After countless trials and errors, finally we have managed to channel it. Here's the ability to teleport whoever touches them. Motivation of the people, but there still lies hope. Okay. Okay, staircase. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Elevator. Oh, yo, my boy. Oh. My boy! Oh no! My boy!
shit. 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 Uh, no. All right. Well, okay. Guess we're done for the night. I just go for mouse pad, keychains, and cups. Interesting. Okay. Well. You found a glitch somehow. That's what I get. I was even talking about beta testing earlier. All right. I say Zell is too tired to keep going. Let's find ourselves somebody to raid. How let's how's about. Although I would have loved Night Bro to come hang out with us, but in our uh, dream home or whatever. That might be a good person to raid. Um. I don't know how many people I'm going to have as options to raid at this time of night, Bo. I... Uh... Okay, let's also, let's, let's close the game real quick. Uh, okay, we've got. Uh, of people I know, of people I personally know, we've got Alien Isolation, Satisfactory, and Call of Duty. Oh, and Warhammer 40k, kind of, I kind of know that person. Oh wait, no, they're they that that person. Super Mario Party. That seems like a potentially a good fit too. Or I could try to meet somebody uh the, the, the boy. Oh my god, my brain. My brain. Okay, uh That helped a little bit. Alright, uh We've got to raid first, though. Okay, uh, but hey, uh, Uh, honestly, the thing is, is I'm debating if I want to try to raid somebody big, or if I want to try raiding somebody like my size. Uh, by you know I. We'll, we'll raid this person. I've had I've had their stream open. We've raided them before. Oh, wait, no, they have their their thy. All right, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you all had a sell of a time.
you enjoyed the show and you haven't yet, please give a follow. It really helps with the algorithm and my self-esteem. I, we are going to be live again tomorrow with some more Alan Wake 2. Um, if you want to get up to dates and all things sell, you can follow us on the, you can join the Discord. Uh, we started doing a movie night every week on Thursdays, Thursday nights in the Discord. So you should come join for that. Uh, if we end up doing the subathon, I'll probably have somebody host it. Or I, I might take a, oh, we'll probably put a hold on it, or I might make a mod or somebody host it. Um, check out our socials. Uh, check out our socials. Check out the Patreon. Check out the merch. Have a wonderful night, lovelies, and I hope you have a good, good sleep. Good night.